put a lesson on my pay to bring forth the mind to the, to the arms of the people. It is tired of works of the flesh or the spirit. Yahweh is going to show us that there are works contrary to what popular beliefs say. They say, but you are saved by hand, by grace, that you have to do it, nothing. But it would establish you. You do nothing, you get nothing. Did you have to go there. Emily not faith without deeds, works, is dead. Amen. Praise Amen. be to the mighty Amen. God. So let's go to the very beginning where it, it was established. Let's go to Bereshit chapter 1, Genesis chapter 1, 1 to 10. I'm Brother Yasser, the speaker, and read from me is, is, is Zahara the Rock, a cop, sister and brother. Praise the mighty God. Genesis, Bereshit, chapter 1, verses 1 and 10, and it reads the cop. Praise Yahweh. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, Elohim created the heaven and the earth. Verse 2. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Ruach of Elohim moved upon the face of the waters. Verse 3. And Elohim said, Let there be light. And there was light. Whoa. Y'all yeah, see, this is, this is work right here. When we talk, we're working our mouth. This is the first work of Elohim, y'all said. Hear mouth, let there be oil, and there was oil. That's the first, that's the works of the Ruach, Spirit. Right, Praise right. the mighty Yah. Yeah. Continue. Verse 4. And Elohim saw the light, that it was good. And Elohim divided the light from the darkness. Verse 5. And Elohim called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Y'all see that? He said the evening and the morning were the first yawn. That's when the day starts, you are not to wear of midnight to you no know, to this by belief that the, which we are the Roman, under the Romans that rule, their rule. If you don't think so, just look around and see what's going on. Yeah. That's when y'all steps uh met his yawn. Evening and the morning were the first yawn. Praise be to the mighty yawn. Continue your cup. Verse 6. And Elohim said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Verse 7. And Elohim made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. Praise to my Yah. What are you talking about, Yah? He talking about Shemayims. There was water. Everything was Mayim. He just wanted, you know, to throw that in there. That's what he's talking about. Yes. Firmament. It was it was Shemayim. It was all water, Mayim, yes. and it was divided. Continue, our cup. Verse 8. And Elohim called the firmament Shemayim. There you go. And the evening and the morning were the second day. Thanks, Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Verse 9. And Elohim said, let the waters under the Shemayim be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He took that water under the other Shemayim, and what it was? The Arabs continued. Verse 10. And Elohim called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And Elohim saw that it was good. Praise the mighty Yah. Let's skip down to verses 14 and 19, and it reads. Verse 14. And Elohim said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the of Shemayim to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. Verse 15, and let them be for lights in the firmament of Shemayim to give light upon the earth. And it was so. Verse 16, and Elohim made two great lights, the greater, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. Verse 17, 
and Elohim set them in the firmament of the of Shemaim to give light upon the earth. Verse 18. And to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And Elohim saw that it was good. Verse 19. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Yeah, see that? The evening and the morning were the fourth day. What did he do? Like, say, uh, uh, Verse, cause we, I'm gonna read verse 16. And he made two great orders: the great order to rule the high yard, and the lesser order to rule the Halaya. He made star up. That's when he made the sun. You were on the fourth day. For some of you, were talking about he needs the sun to calculate his day. That thus says Yahweh. The sun was made on the fourth day. Praise be to the mighty God. And let's go um, to chapter. Chapter 3, verse 19. And it reads the copy whenever you have it. Okay. Uh, Genesis chapter 3, verse 19. In Genesis 3. 3. 3. Yes. Genesis 3. Nice. Verse 19. And it reads. In the sweat of thy face thou shalt eat bread till thou return unto the ground. For out of it was thou taken, for thus thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. Yes. Praise the mighty God. This is when Adam and Kawah had Hathar, they had sinned, and this is when they they were in the flesh then. It's the first, right. like, right. the first works of the flesh, you yes. know. He had, he said, the Ishar said, had labor paid. Man said, you know, had, 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 you got to labor. That's why he gave us a, a place to go labor. Man, he said, no man, no worker, man, no eater. How can you provide for yourself and the family or whatever? That's, that's the, yeah, our works. They are works of the Ruach and they are works of the flesh. Yes, sir. Praise the mighty Yah. Yeah. Let's see, uh, let's see, let's, let's go down, skip to, uh, down. To verse uh, 26, 20 to 31 in Genesis 1. 26 to 31 in Genesis 1. And it reads whenever you have it. In Genesis 26. And Elohim said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creepy thing that creepeth upon the earth. Verse 27, so Elohim created man in his own image. In the image of Elohim created he him. Male and female created he them. Verse 28, and Elohim blessed them and Elohim said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Verse 29, And Elohim said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is on the face of all the earth, and every tree in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. <coughs> to you it shall be for meat. Praise to my Yah. This, uh, these are these of the Ruach, the Spirit. This Yah, Yah speaking. That's work He had done ever since He had Barah created everything, and that's this works of the Ruach. And thus, when Yah, Yah, yah when Yah among something, it is survive. It's a command. Whether it's written or spoken, right. it's survived, a command. Yeah. Praise the mighty Yah. Yeah. Okay, let's go to Exodus chapter 2, verses 11 to 12. Exodus chapter 2, verses 11 to 12. And it reads whenever you have it. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Exodus chapter 2, verses 11 to 12. 
And it came to pass in those days when Moshe was grown, that he went out unto his brethren and looked on their burdens. And he spied an Egyptian, a Mizraim, smiting a, a Hebrew, one of his brethren. Verse 12. And he looked this way and that way, and when he saw that there was no man, he slew the Mizraim. Okay. So and this, him in the sand. That, see this here? These are the works of the flesh. flesh. He got out of the Ruach and got into the flesh. Yeah. Praise the mighty Yah. Let's uh, go to chapter 3, verses 1 to 3. And it reads, whenever you have it, God. Exodus chapter 3, verse 1. Now Moshe kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to a mountain of Elohim, even to Horeb. Verse four, uh, 2. And the angel of Yahweh appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and, be, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. Verse 3. And Moshe said, I will, not turn, I will now turn aside and see this great sight. Why the bush is not burnt. Praise hey, Yahweh. I'm, I'm going to read uh, verse 2. And the high malachine of Yahweh appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. Works of the Ruach, Yah. That, that's you know, a miraculous deed there. That's words. You always work with a bush is burning. Y'all know if a bush burns, you glad it matched to it. It's going to burn up. That's works of the Ruach. Mm -hmm. Spirit. Praise right. the mighty Yah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yahweh had put in my pay, my leg, my mind, my heart, and my being to bring forth something, as the arts would say, a nothing, a golden nothing. Right. Um, <laughs> he, uh, he, he, wants, he wants, this is for the arts and our cover of Israel, special. Let's go to Genesis. Chapter 18, verses 16 and 9, 19. Genesis chapter 18. I did, I will get this in here while the time is fresh. Praise be to the God. Genesis chapter 18, verses 16 and 19. And you read a call whenever you have it. This is 18, verse 17. And Yahweh said, Shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do? Verse 18. Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. Verse 19. For I know him that he will command his children and his household after him, and they shall keep the way of Yahweh to do justice and judgment, that Yahweh may bring upon Abraham that which he had spoken of him. Praise the mighty Yah. This is works of the Ruach that Yah had done, but this is the point Yahweh wants, that wants me to bring out. I'll read it. Uh, Genesis 18, verse 17 to 19. And Yahweh marked, shall I hide from Abraham the thing which I do? Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great mighty goe, and all the high goes of the higher shall be bereft in him. For I yada him that, that, that he will survive, command his band and his by of hold after him, and they shall shamar the way of Yahweh to do justice and misfire. That Yahweh may bring upon Amram that which he have a mark of him. <coughs> this is what he wants to bring for Israel, our dams, Ish, man, and uh, a cops, Ishah, sisters, women, wives. Yes. <coughs> we say we are of Abraham's seed, right? right. <coughs> he knew Abraham's pay, his legs, his being. He knew that he would teach his children 
the which right. way the right. Abbot, right. The, right. the Abbot right. serve right. our Yahweh. Yes. Yes. So, it, that being said, you think he gonna break a commandment? Mm -hmm. No. Let's go to, let's go to, uh, uh, go to Genesis 16, 1 to 4. This is for all, this is for Israel to say, as you lie with a woman, she's your Isha. This is what you, you know, that's a lie. Here, here, here it is. Yep. Yahweh wants you to know the truth. Yes. Whether you receive it or not, we have to put it up. Yes, you That's do. it. We come to do the hours will from Genesis to Revelation. We don't err from it. We right. say a nah humble to bring forth his debars and them in the truth. Praise be to the mighty Yah. Yeah. Let's go to Genesis 16. And, and uh, did y'all say debunk those lies, house of God, and do your it. flesh? Do that it. you're in the flesh, that's yeah. what it is. This he just get he gonna give you the spirit, but you chose to do the works of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Praise the mighty God. With your yeah. fleshly pay and the influence of house of God, you will have to ah against Almighty Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Praise the mighty God. Mm -hmm. Go to Genesis chapter 16, 1 to 40. Debunk all this myth you all got going on. You labor the woman that you know, y'all Israel think is just for them. That name, all the other go east can go ahead and lie with the woman and it be they woman. What you saying? There's no fornication and adultery. You call it y'all lie. Let the Bible speak as the ark would say. Genesis 16, 1 and 4, and it reads a call. Praise to my young. Genesis 16, verse 1. Now Sarai, Abraham's wife, bare him no children. And she had a, a handmaid, an Egyptian, whose name was Agar. Verse 2, And Sarai said unto Abram, Behold now, Yahweh have restrained me from bearing. I pray thee, go in unto my maid. It may be that I may obtain children by her. And Abram hearkened to the voice of Sarai. And Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, after Abram, had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, and gave her. And gave. We're going. We're going to go to the concordance on this word. And he, she gave. Continue, our cup. And gave her to her husband, Abram, to be his wife. Say what? To be what? His wife. <clears throat> he didn't just lie with her, right? Whether, whether, whether it don't. You should have had a word. How could ask to discern it? Whether there was a physical ceremony, there had to been the bars exchanged to make it. So that's a lot from house of time that you lay with a woman. You just tell, you just heard that he knew that Abraham would teach his band. We are his band to right. do right or wrong. Bring you it. know to keep the Torah. They know they would have been breaking the Torah, man, how to are breaking upon themselves and the whole congregation. Yes. Because he was the hour to come on many go in. Praise the mighty God. Finish. Continue. Okay. Verse 4. And when and he went in unto Hagar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress was despised in her eyes. See, that's why he said, one wife for one man, because it's going to be that Henry Joseph. But look, he went into her after they were married, not lying before, and that made it right. Don't believe that lie. As 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 our rod, Art Makai would say, no lie is the end. No lie is the right. truth. Praise no, the mighty God. That's right. No matter how good a man or uh, Adam or Isha put it to you, it is written, to, if it's in scripture, that's you. You don't choose to believe. That means you don't believe y'all what is written. Right. Praise the mighty Yah. Hallelujah. Okay, that 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 word gave. Let's go. That I'm gonna have the sister go to Strong's concordance in the Hebrew, the Hebrew. 54:14. And it reads the call when you have read it to the go east. Praise the mighty Yah. Thus says y'all. This is this is what this word is and reads the Okay, Hebrews 54, 14. Not time. Uh, a prime root to give, used with great latitude of application, put, make, etc. Add, apply, appoint, ascribe, assign, avenge, 
be healed, bestow, bring forth, hither, cast, cause, charge, come, commit, consider, count, cry, de deliver, deliver up, direct, distribute, do, doubtless, without fail, fasten, frame, get, give, forth, over, up, grant, hang, hang up, have, indeed, lay, unto charge, up, give, leave, lend, let out, lie, lift, lift up, make, O oh, that occupy, or offer, ordain, pay, perform, place, pour, print, and pull, put forth, recompense, render, requite, restore, sent out, set forth, show, shoot forth, up, sing, slander, strike, Sub, submit, s suffer, surely, take, thrust, trade, turn, utter, weep, willingly, withdraw, would to Elohim, yield. Yield. He said wow. yield, yield. You yield to his debauch. That's what it's written. Yield to it. Praise be to the mighty God. This is what, this is why it's, it's good to have a King James Version Bible and a concordance. Yeah. It gets you there easier, you know. Praise be to the mighty Yah. And while we at it, our Yahweh say, let's bring some some more help. His inner troops about head coverings and fringes and the beard. Mm -hmm. okay. It is a bar. Right it is right. command. Mm -hmm. Praise the mighty Yah. He put it. Ruach HaKadah, quick at me and put this in my pay and lay. Y'all say, bring it forth. It. He said, because we supposed to be representing right. Yahweh. It's how do the, how, how the other go is going to know that we are set apart? If you fail to do what is written, like I said, whatever cunning, the cunning, crafty cunningness, any Adam or Ishahab, skip that. Right. What is written? That's Just says Yahweh. Yes, my brother. That's all you yeah. got to believe in. You don't believe what's written? That's between you and you. Yeah. Exactly. Amen. Yeah, right. I'm just trying to show a hat. Yeah. He said if he had, he had it, he chastises up. Right. He sends his, his evidence, his ministers, which we all are once we hit this bars of Yahweh. We minister, we comfort ourselves and others. Praise the mighty God. Hallelujah. Let's go to uh, Leviticus chapter 21. Leviticus chapter 21, verse, verse 5. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. And it reads, the cop whenever you have the praise, be to the mighty Yah. The revelation knowledge. He's worthy to be. Worthy all the time, no matter what. Lift him up. Yep. Lift him up forever and ever. Leviticus 21, verse 5. And it reads, Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Praise the mighty Yah. Yeah, I hear that. Right. You arch and our car. Ain't no taking no raise and giving you a slick Isaac Hayes head. Mm. If, if it's not nothing there, you just keep what's right there. That's why he didn't make about it. He knew it was going to come because disobedience. That's why we, it can't happen, the hair loss and all this. Disobedience is in this book. Yeah. But don't, don't, yeah, hey, you are perfectly and wonderfully made. You know how you get into imperfection? When you start worrying about what other people are worrying about, how you look and dress. He made us all anyway. We are perfectly and wonderfully laid. Hallelujah. Just, just as he said, put on, look night. He, he, he blessed you to, Buy the best perfume, whatever you have. He, he wants Israel to have this. For he can show up and show off. Mm -hmm. You perfect. 
It's going to imperfection when you're worrying about other people. Y'all have what they think about you. Amen. That's why he said, you have no cares of this age. Right. We care, but we don't care. No. Man, we don't have the cares of the world Same. and don't that's have good. the cares of your emotion. Yeah. Definitely, that's it. That emotion of thinking, worrying about I, too much out of time has already been lost. Worrying about people's thoughts. Right. Praise the mighty God. Yeah. Just do the will and works of our God. He crawled us. Yes. Let's stand up, Israel. Yes. All right. Be the Kohen that he has called us to be the priest. Yes. Praise the mighty. Yes. Ish. Ish is and, and, and ish. That's right, Ox and it's so you uh, saw. Mm -hmm. Yes, he called he called the women. The sister. It is written. Praise the mighty Yah. Yeah. Let's go to uh let's go to Numbers 15, chapter 15, 37 to 41. Numbers, chapter 15, 37, 41. Praise be to the mighty Yah. And, uh, numbers. Chapter 15, yeah. 37 to 41, and it reads whenever you have the call. Holly, Yahweh. Numbers chapter 15, verse 37. And Yahweh spake unto Moshe, saying, Who spoke? Yahweh. Yahweh. So when Yahweh, Amar, it is above his command. That's right there. It don't have to be written. Don't have to be written. Once he speaks something, it is of all his command. Torah. Yes. Praise the mighty I continue up, Ka. Verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Make what? Fringes. Okay, the continue. Borders of their garments. Throughout their generation. Throughout what? When? Throughout, Throughout what? Their generation. Are we not in a generation? Yes, yes. Sir. Are we not Israel? Yes, yes sir. sir. So this is a bar to us, Israel. Let's right. represent right. for this okay. other goes to see that we are called a particular ailment yes. to him. Praise the mighty God. Continue, God. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribband of blue. That's it. It could be any color. Not, not just that blue and white as some one day. Oh, it's supposed to be that. No, he's not any kind. But one thing, he, he survived. A ribbon of blue. Praise the mighty Yahweh. Verse 39. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of Yahweh. The, remember what? The, the commandments, commandments of Yahweh. Of who? Of Yahweh. Yahweh. Not, not Moshe, right? No, 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 Yahweh. Not no man or woman that's an appropriate time, right? This is Yahweh. Okay, continue. And do them. <coughs> what? And do them. Huh. Thus says Yahweh. And that ye seek not after your own heart, and use your own eyes, after which ye use to go a whore. See, that's what he's saying. Don't don't mean to your own being, your own yes, understanding. Then listen to Yahweh Yahweh. His cook my Yahweh and being. Stay in the Ruach yes. of Yahweh. Amen. Continue. Verse 40. That ye may remember and do all my commandments and be holy unto your Elohim. Re remember and do what? All do all. all no, no. Man. You know, you know how some of them they do the nine and leave out no, the seven, right? All. And what? And, all. and, and, and be what? Uh, holy. But be Kadesh, he said. Right. He calls you as a Kadesh. Go ahead. We can do it. In the contrary to all this Roman Christian doctrine. You can't be perfect. Yes, you can yeah, stand in the Perfection is maturity under the bars of Yahweh. Right. That's the only way. Up well, yourself now. Mm -hmm. Continue our cup. Verse 41. I am Yahweh your Elohim, which brought you out of the land of Mizraim to be your Elohim. Praise the mighty God. I am Yahweh your Elohim. Hallelujah. This is Shabbat. I am Yahweh your Elohim, which brought you out of the land of Mizraim to be your Elohim. I am Yahweh your Elohim. He wants all, not just Israel, you physical, yeah, we spiritual, but you have to become spiritual Israel. And as those Jewish people would say, you're supposed to convert to become Jewish, they stole that from us. No, you convert to be an Israelite. All of us must be spiritual. Praise be to the mighty God. Hallelujah. Let's go to Yo. Yo. 
chapter 29. Job chapter 29. One verse uh, 14. Job 29. <coughs> one verse 14. And it reads the call. Job chapter 29, verse 14. I put on righteousness and it clothed me. My judgment was as a robe and a diadem. Praise the mighty God. See, if, you know, the clothes don't make you holy, no, but if you don't. stand side of car and you will be, you will be, it'll be a kabod or honor right. to put on yes, what right. God does say is Yahweh Sabbath as the rep. He said, he right. said, rep, be, we are representing of Yahweh in this age. Right. How else they going to know if you don't say his name? You, you know, that be, but that's between you and Yah. But he said he wants it in true and with name, Shem to be known. Praise the mighty God. Some say, some here say, hey, we in marriage. We speak in it. I am speaking. It's Hebrew to you, Hebrew. So we're come on, we're moving on. Come on. Right. This is English. Right. I ain't speaking semantic or whatever, all the other dialogues, which is great if you know it. This is plain English. Since you're English, praise be to the mighty God. <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, uh, let's go. That was great praise, be to the mighty Yah. Yes. Let's uh, go back to scriptures. Let's continue. Let's go back to Exodus chapter 4. Exodus chapter 4, verses 1 to 4. And it reads, and have you have it at all? Hallelujah, Yahweh. Like I say, it's not, it's not to condemn only Hasidah come in. It's to convict brothers to wake up. Be proud of them. Not proud, they're not. Be, it's an honor it to is. be a Hebrew Israelite, child of Yahweh, good delight. It's a blessing. Yes, it's truly it a blessing. It's truly a blessing. Once you come to know it's God, all men. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. sleeping Israel. I don't know. That's why we in the condition of and, and, and it's a blessing to find a, a chosen people, the Jewish people, they are liar. The chosen people looking, open this book up and see. Right. And y'all say, I left this manuscript, find a person that fits this description. Right. Who fit the so called black man, African American, yeah. and all the hearts and brothers around, scattered around the area, yeah. that was dropped off of no sleep. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Exodus 4. Verses 1 and 4 and it reads a call. Exodus chapter 4, verse 1. And Moshe answered and said, But behold, they will not believe me, or nor hearken unto my voice. For they will say, Yahweh hath not appeared unto thee. Verse 2. And Yahweh said unto him, What is that in thy hand? And he said, A rod. Verse 3, and he said, cast it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground, and it became a serpent. And Moshe fled from before it. Verse 4, and Yahweh said unto Moshe, put forth thy hand, and take it by the tail. And he put forth his hand, and caught it. And it became a rod in his hand. Right. See, that's his work of Yahweh. That's the works of the Ruah. Yes. He's in the spirit, y'all. Yeah. Yes. That's the works of the Ruah. Yes. The, the spirit. Praise the mighty God. Skip down to verse 21 and it reads. Exodus 4, verse 21. And Yahweh said unto Moshe, When thou goest to return into Mizraim, see that thou do all those wonders before Pharaoh, which I have put in thy hand. But I will harden his heart, that he shall not let the people go. Praise the mighty God. See, Yahweh, Yahweh, is to fire him and, and admire to him. Do all these wonderful uh, spiritual works that I have given you, which he has given us. 
we have we have power just as you sure did. Right. You're sure shall I leave, but I leave you for greater things to do. If you believe that he's the Bible, and he may not. As a mustard seed, it shall grow. Praise the mighty God. Let's go to chapter uh, chapter 6, verses 1 and 4, and it reads. Exodus chapter 6, verse 1. Then Yahweh said unto Moshe, Now shalt thou see what I will do to Pharaoh. For with a strong hand shall he let them go, and with a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land. Verse 2. And Elohim spake unto Moshe, and said unto him, I am Yahweh. Verse 3, And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, by the name of El Shaddai, but, my, but by my name Yahweh was I not known to them. Verse 4, And I have also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan, the land of their pilgrimage, wherein they were strangers. Praise the mighty God. You see, he said, But by my shem, Yahweh was I not Yahweh unto them. But it is Yahweh unto us now. So he right. wants to, he wants this age to know of his shem. Right. Praise be to the mighty Yahweh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's go, let's go to chapter 7, verses 10 to 11. But they knew he was the Greek. I am. That's right. They knew he was there. They knew that force that was behind him. Praise the mighty Yah. Uh, chapter 7, verses 10 to 11, and it reads. Exodus chapter 7, verse 10. And Moshe and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh, and they did so as Yahweh had commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. Verse 11, Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers. Now the magicians of Mizraim, they also did in like manners with their enchantments. Praise the mighty God. See, Moshe did the works of the Ruah, righteous works. Then Pharaoh, he had Korah Hasatan. Yeah. He's the great imitator. That's what he got Moshe. He said, as he said, yeah, sure, so he come to deceive the whole world. He got people... Thinking, yeah, they, you know, they call him another name. He blesses, and 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 they don't even see the difference. They don't know because they're not calling out you living out of hand. Because he 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 tried your sure. So what you what chance you had? You he blessing you, and you thinking you getting it from Yahweh? You deceive. Praise the mighty Yah. He, he's a great imitator. That's all he is. Yeah. To deceive you from the truth. He he gives you. He bless you. As it, it, it's really not a blessing because right. he gives and he takes away. Right. And then what at the end, he's going he he to cost you your kind you in, in, right. in the end. Yeah. Praise the mighty God. Uh, let me see. Uh, Yah, just, like I say, the real just quickened me, quickened me to remind, bring back to memories and all truth to say this to Israel. As, as that was saying about the deception. How Satan come to kill steal and destroy. Mm -hmm. He came, he come, he came to steal Israel, true Israel unity. He did. He came to destroy the works, the deeds that our Yahweh called us to do. And what and us not Standing up and from Genesis to Revelation, true the bars, not Aaron, not he always said, Don't take and add to it, it has been done. Mm -hmm. So, with us not giving these true the bars words, it the bars, true words of our Yahweh, he's killing everyone. Yeah. Praise be to the mighty Yah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to chapter 11, verses 1 to 5. He loves no one. So Israel, let's come into unity. There may be differences in the names and all that, 
Come on, that's Kenny Gotten. As I talk, Raha and say years ago in that first game. Graduate from there. So you, you know the name. That's how to die. He puffed up. Yeah, he puffed up. Right. And y'all don't even know it. That's his cleverness. Deception. Yeah. Got you one thinking y'all smarter than y'all. Y'all see that fool? What happened to him? So don't be a fool, fool. <laughs> Praise the mighty God. Yeah. Uh, Exodus 11. One to five. Don't be a fool anymore once you hit these the balls off of y'all. You won't be no fool no more because he makes the simple wise. Come mm here. -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read uh, chapter 11, verses 1 to 5, and read the God. Okay. Exodus chapter 11, verse 1. And Yahweh said unto Moshe, Yet will I bring one plague more upon Pharaoh and upon Mizraim. Afterwards, he will let you go. Hence, when he shall let you go, he shall surely thrust you out hence together. Verse 2. Speak now in the ears of, of the people, and let every man borrow of his neighbor, and every woman of her neighbor, jewels of silver and jewels of gold. Verse 3. And Yahweh gave the people favor in the sight of the of Mizraim. Moreover, the man Mo, Moshe was very great in the land of Mizraim, in the sight of Pharaoh's servant, in the sight of the people. Verse 4. And Moshe said, Thus saith Yahweh, About midnight I will go out into the midst of Mizraim, Verse 5, and all the firstborn in the land of Mizraim shall die from the firstborn of Pharaoh that sitteth upon his throne, even unto the firstborn of the maidservant that is behind the mill, and all the firstborn of beasts. Praise the mighty God. This is Sadaka in the nation, Yahweh, is of the, of the Ruach, not of the flesh. Praise the mighty God. And then in here, he told them what to do. As today, stiff neck, hard head, years right. There was some that didn't obey. That's right. And they moved. Praise the mighty Yah. Let's go to chapter 13. 13, 1 to 7. And it reads the copy when you have it. How do you Yahweh? Chapter 13. Chapter 13, verse 1 to 7. And it reads. Exodus chapter 13, verse 1. And Yahweh spake unto Moshe, saying, verse 2, Sanctify unto me all the firstborn, whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of beast, it is mine. Verse 3. And Moshe said unto the people, Remember this day in which ye came out of, from Mizraim, out of the house of bondage, for by strength of hand, Yahweh brought you out from this place. There shall no leavened bread be eaten. Verse 4. This day came ye out in the month of Abib. The month of what? Who? A Abib. Abib. This is the, the beginning of Yah's calendar. You are Abib. Not January, the dead or the winter. Continue. Verse 5. And it shall be when Yahweh shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, which he swear unto thy fathers to give thee a land flowing with milk and honey, that thou shalt keep this service in this month. In that service, he's talking about his Pesach, yeah, the Passover, continue. Verse 6. Seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, and in the seventh day shall be a feast unto Yahweh. And this is talking about the feast of unleavened bread. Praise be to my. These, Hasatan has this as a cup to hire with the rock to say, Haladay. Hasatan has Haladay. They like Yah have Kadesh Holy Yah. Praise the mighty Yah. Continue. Verse 7 Unleavened bread shall be eaten. Seven days, 
and there shall no leavened bread be seen with thee, neither shall there be leaven seen with thee in all thy quarters. Praise the mighty God. These are, the, I can say, the title works of the flesh or Ruach. These are your works of the Ruach. And when man fail not to do it, you are works doing the works of the flesh. Praise the mighty God. Let's go to chapter 14, verses 3 to 7, and read the cup whenever you have it. Hallelujah. Chapter 14, verse 3. For, for Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel, they are entangled in the land, the wilderness hath shut them in. Verse 4, and I will harden Pharaoh's heart that he shall follow after them, and I will be honored upon Pharaoh and upon all his hosts, that Mizraims may know that I am Yahweh, and they did so. Verse 5. And it was told the king of Mizraim that the people fled, and the heart of Pharaoh and of his servants was turned against the people, and they said, Why have we done this, that we have let Israel go from serving us? Verse 6. And he made ready his chariot and took his people with him. Verse 7. And he took 600 chosen chariots and all the, ch the chariots of Mizraim and captains over every one of them. Praise the mighty Yah. Uh, this is two foes here. It's, it's works of the Ruah and of the flesh. The word of Yahweh works of the Ruah of uh, spirit is his Tzadaka in that nation where he said, I will be kabod upon Pharaoh and upon his sorrow that the high Mizraim made Yahweh that I am Yahweh that did it. Many he was going to know had that, that red sea come upon him down on him. And then the works of, of the flesh is Pharaoh when he, that was Yahweh said he was going to hunt out his, his pay to go do to go after the children of the band of high Israel to do harm to them. That's works of the flesh. Yes, it is. Doing wrong. Praise the mighty God. Yeah. Let's go. Doing and thinking wrong. Because Yeshua said, He had to, like I say, before Yeshua do away with the Torah, he, he would add to, which he did. He said, Now, you know, when you think wrong or think upon anything, yeah. you have already had to eye. Right. So you must say it. So you must repent and confess. Yeah. Confessing is just agreeing with y'all. That I did wrong, forget it. Yeah. I was Yahweh. Right. That's all he had. Mm -hmm. Cause if you don't, that hatah, that sin is still upon you. Praise be to the mighty Yah. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, go to chapter 15. 15 verses 6 to 9 and reads of God. Whenever you have. Exodus 15. Hallelujah. Exodus 15. Verse 6. Thy right hand, O Yahweh, is become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Yahweh, hath dashed in pieces the enemy. Verse 7. And in the greatness of thine excellency, thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee, which sentest, sentest forth thy wrath, which consumed them as stubble. Verse 8. And with the blast of thy nostrils, the waters were gathered together. The flood stood upright as a heap, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. Verse 9. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My lust shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. Praise Yah, our Yah, and it's twofold again. The, the, the works of the Ruach and the flesh. Yah, which the, the, the righteous uh, works of the Ruach was Yah, in the righteous indignation on, on the Mizraim. He stored it. And then, and then the enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake them. Works and thoughts of the flesh. Praise the mighty Yah. And like it's saying, when he said, by the blast of the 
because now behind means we're getting together. They, they, it, oh, it, he, he killed our enemy. That's what he do for us today. Just stay up the dust says, y'all, you don't have to worry about anything. Nothing. Praise the mighty Yah. Let's go to uh, chapter 16, verses 4 to 5, and he reads the call whenever you have it. Exodus chapter 16, verse 4. Then said Yahweh unto Moshe, Behold, I will rain bread from Shemaim for you, and the people shall go out and gather a certain rate every day, that I may prove them whether they will walk in my law or no. Verse 5. And it shall come to pass that on the sixth day, they shall prepare that which they bring in, and it shall be twice as much as they gather daily. Praise the mighty God. See, it's two foes here. Again, see that works of the Ruach, Yah had fed us. He made a king's food, and we was we was unsatisfied with that. That was the, that was that was like he say he had we was in captivity so long, so he had to. We, you know, be able to bring it back to his yeah. rock and all that. That's why he was out there. He was reprogrammed, renewing the mind. Yeah. And he yeah. said, yeah. he's going to say, that prove right. them where they would keep my Torah or not. Mm -hmm. Just like today. Yeah. Praise the be to the mighty Yah. Yeah. Let's, um, let's go to the, uh, the New Testament for a minute. Let's go to Mithiah, Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8, 1 to 3. And it reads, to God, whenever you have it, praise be to the mighty Yah. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 8, verse 1. When he was come down from the mountain, great multitudes follow him. Verse 2, And behold, there came a leopard and worshipped him, saying, Master, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. Verse 3, And Yeshua put forth his hand and touched it, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Praise the mighty God. See, these are works of the Ruach. Yes. That, that's what it is. They are works. So, like I say, say, popular the contrary, popular belief that people say, you on the hand, on the grace, you don't have to do nothing. No, it's, that's a lie. Yep. You see throughout the book, we have, you do nothing, you get nothing. It's work. It's work. You do work to, to get up and get dressed. You do work. You work in your mouth when you talk. Everything was instituted on works. Yep. Praise the mighty Yah. Let's go to chapter 9, verses 18 and 16, and it reads, chapter 9. Verses 18 and 16. I mean, uh, yeah, 18 to 26. Chapter 9. Matthew chapter 9, verse 18. While he spake these things unto them, behold, there came a certain ruler and worshipped him, saying, My daughter is even now dead, but come and lay thy hand upon her, and she shall live. Look at that. He had, he had, he had even now faced and you're sure he just Hallelujah. knew, just yeah. touch him. And I said that he gives us power to shalom mm -hmm. to heal people. Mm -hmm. Praise be to the mighty our content. Verse 19, and Yeshua arose and followed him, and so did his disciples. Verse 20, and behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood 12 years came behind him and touched the hem of his Hallelujah. Hand. Look at that power in those friends, y'all. Yeah? That's, right. That's it. Same power way. in it. That's yeah. why it's the word power. Yeah. Hallelujah. Continue. Hallelujah. Verse 21. For she said within herself, If I may but touch his garment, 
I shall be whole. That is in me now, y'all. Yeah. Once you throw that faith, yeah. no doubt, believe, it'll be done to you. It's given to it. you. It's already done. Praise the mighty God. Continue. Verse 22. But Yeshua turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith has See made thee old. Hallelujah. Hear me now. He, yes. She had. Right. Continue. Yes. And the woman was made whole from that hour. Verse 23. And when Yeshua came into the ruler's house and saw the minstrels and the people making a noise. Verse 24. He said unto them, Give place, for the maid is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed him to scorn. Verse 25. But when the people were put forth, he went in and took her by the hand, and the maid arose. Verse 26. And the fame hereof went abroad into all that land. Praise the mighty God. You see, he had to get rid of unbelievers. Sure you know, he was throwing them this, in, this is works uh, uh, of the Ruach, the spirit. He had to get those naysayers out. That's what you have to do. Yeah. Them non-believers, you, you just tell them, skip that. If that's what you believe, I believe in these devils of Abba Yahweh because they they have been proven. This book is here, and we are all witnesses to it. Right. Praise be to the mighty. Every now to every now, faith to faith, as the ark would say. Mm -hmm. Praise the mighty God. Amen. Let's go to chapter 14. No, uh, we just read. Uh, no, uh, let's go to chapter 14, verses 7 and 9. And it reads whenever you have. Praise the mighty God. Hallelujah. Never, never. Fourteen verses seven to ten. You read the God. Matthew chapter fourteen, verse seven. Whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she asked. 